सो हेलो फ्रेंड्स वी आर स्टार्टिंग विद द कंटिन्यूड पार्ट ऑफ द मैट हेलमस ऑन द कोर्स ऑन एनिमल क्लासिफिकेशन एट सो इट्स मी योर फ्रेंड इफ्तार खान सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट सो यू कैन फॉलो मी ऑन अन अकेडमी डॉट इन स्लैश यूज स्लैश इफ्तार खान एंड सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट टू इट so as i told you in my previous uh, lesson that we will be talking about classification of nemat helminths which as i told you before that it's based on sense organs uh to be specific the phasmids the phasmids as i told you they are the sense organs which are present on the posterior part of the nemat helminths or the round worms so it can be phasmida which defined two classes phasmida and a phasmida so in phasmida they have a phasmid the phasmid is present while in a phasmid the phasmid is absent and so is the case with amphids amphid is present amphid is absent so the examples that come in the phasmida are ascaris vocheria draconculus loa loa and encyclostoma uh while that an a phasmida is trichuris and trichinella so now we're going to talk about individual worms as they are quite important for your exams and furthermore uh for your coming years also they help you form a basis so first we'll talk about ascaris lumbricoides so it's the main host or the main host is the man it's it does not have any secondary host it has only one host and it is present in the intestine ascaris lumbricoides it's basically present it's an intestinal parasite the disease caused is obviously ascariasis from the term ascaris and in child it can also cause physical and mental retardation if it is present at an early age because it prevents the nutrition from being taken up uh, which is very necessary in the early years of the child so uh, pineal setae are the chitinous structure helping in sperm transfer so how do we distinguish a male from a female ascaris so uh, the males are shorter and they are slender while the females are longer as well as thicker males only have three openings while the females have four of them one of the characteristic feature and one which is also present in the ncert textbook is that the posterior end is curved in case of males while it's straight in the case of female and the males have a cloacal aperture while the females do not have and they have a pineal setae as well which are not present in females pineal setae as told in the slide before are the structure which help in sperm transfer that said that's how you distinguish a male from a female then we come to a uh, other organism the next organism the next important round worm which infects the humans that's vocheria bancrofti also known as the filarial worms so uh, it has two host the which are man and mosquito so mosquito mostly by culex mosquitoes it may also be transferred by anopheles and other mosquitoes but mainly culex female culex mosquito uh it is present in the lymph vessels of the the adults live in the lymph vessel of the human beings and the disease they cause is elephantiasis you will learn more in, more about it in the in 12th class in the in the upcoming lectures on human health so uh, what it does is the adult organism blocks the lymph vessels which 
due to which the affected limb swells up so what happens is uh, they are present inside the limb uh, like these are the lymph vessels which uh, have uh, lymph flowing through it okay so uh, due to their size uh, they mechanically block the lymph vessel so as a result uh, the lymph cannot flow back so the lymph go gets stasis the lymph stasis is there and so as a result the limb gets swollen up then next we have enterobius vermicularis which is the pin worm or the seed worm it is one of the most uh, common uh, round worms to cause infection in humans so it is just it does have only single host that is man and it's more common in children <coughs> and the site where it affects is the colon one of the characteristic feature of enterobius vermicularis is perianal itching that is when uh, uh, which happens because of the female uh, the female worm which comes down to the perianal region uh to give the eggs in and those and due to that itching is spread so if the person does not wash the hands and puts in the mouth the eggs enter the life cycle again and the life cycle of seed worm repeats which means it it's also known as auto infection that is the infection due to oneself then next we have an cyclostoma duodenal which is also known as the hook worm so it only also has a single host that is the man and it's more common in children it does not need uh, to enter via the oral route it enters via the skin of feet it has specific structures which help which help in entering it through the skin of feet and uh, the site is also intestine and it leads to severe anemia at as it uh, sucks the blood from the intestine it can lead to severe anemia and due to it mental and physical retardation as well uh then we have a few not so important ones but you need to know the name draconculus medinensis which is also known as a fiery serpent or the naru worm it has two host a man and cyclops it has been uh, eradicated from india the guinea worm Jackenkunus is also known as the uh, Guinea worm. The disease is Naru disease and it's present in the subcutaneous tissue. The another important thing is that I'll repeat again that it has been eradicated from India. Then then we have a uh, Loa Loa which is the eye worm. Then a uh, Trichinella spiralis which is the Trichina worm. Trichuris trichura which is the whip worm. so you need to know their name so as you can see uh, the difference between the male and the female the female is longer the male is shorter it's thicker and it's more slender and the end is curved which in the case of female is normal and it's not curved so that's it for this lesson uh, keep keep watching my next lesson i'll be up with more lessons thank you and thanks for listening